This video, I'm going to show you how I turn a $40 device into a full-blown computer. Now this is the device that I'm using right here. It actually costs $37 with free shipping. And usually it takes 10 days to get from the time I click and place the order on my computer to the time it comes to my front porch. So it usually takes about 10 days. So for $37, you can have a full-blown computer. And that's what this is, a full-blown computer running uh, Linux Ubuntu 16.04. So how did that get on there? Well, let me show you. Okay, Mr. Babbles 150, he uh, ported the Linux 16.04 onto this little uh, M-Logic S905X board that this one is, using his drives. It's very easy, you just download his firmware, uh, copy it to a micro SD card, pop it into that little box, and bingo, you have a full-blown computer running Linux. So, I'll show you some of the things it can do. Um, let's say right here. Now, I have a, um, a DVR back in running on, it's been running for a couple of years. It just, it's a 805, S805 stick. It just sits on my network, not even connected to my computer. It just sits there and does its job as a DVR. So I just pick one here, stir crazy. I click play the program. And since this is a um, fairly new port, it doesn't play that great on the uh, video because the uh, hardware drivers are just not there. But actually, so it, it plays pretty decent. Not great, but decent. But anyway, that's not what I bought it for. What I actually used it for is to create a server. So this one, I've set it up to be my um, um, MB server. So what I will do, I'll go down and show you. Now this is my smart TV. These are the apps that comes with it. This is my MB server. Now remember now, this server is running on that little $40, $40 piece of hardware. And actually the uh, live TV channels play pretty doggone good, including the HD channels. Uh, here's my recorded channels. I recorded uh, uh, that I made off the, uh, the rabbit ears. So here's the movies. It takes a little while to populate, but again, they play pretty, pretty good. Collections, now this one automatically goes through and picks out everything that's related to each other and creates a collection. It's like Back to the Future. One, two, three, they're all there. Same way with Iwo Jima. They're all there. So it creates the collection on its own, which is pretty doggone slick. Music, if I want to play my music, it's all there. And everything plays pretty well. The, S, the uh, DVD rips, now they will play with the Adobe Digital, some of the, uh, my HD movies and Blu-ray rips. It depends if they have a... Um, Adobe Digital, because my TV does not pass through the HD audio. And I'm using a fiber optic cable to send the, uh, all my videos are going into the TV and coming out through the fiber optic cable to my uh, receiver. So the Adobe Digital is the most I can get out of that. But anyway, I just want to show you that. So that is some of the things that it can, does, and do. Now, as far as this TV, here's the live channels, uh, using my rabbit ears. This is the TV guy that comes with it. But again, this is a live TV coming over the air through my antenna. 
So anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. I'm using a full uh, blown computer on this little $40 idon. There it is. All right, thank you for watching. Uh, if you got any more questions, I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. Thank you.